at 4,350 pounds. This Freedom Spirit Ultralight by Thor just rolled in here at Halen Auto RV in Coldwater, Michigan. This is a nice little couples camper, rear bath, perfect for that, uh, that younger couple that's looking to get out, wants something that's gonna be, you know, nice, fit all their needs, clean. This is a good unit for that. Let's go ahead and jump on the inside and uh, see what we got up in there. As I just mentioned, this is a very clean, nice trade. You got the uh, microwave above, uh, cabinetry right there above your kitchen area coming on down. We have a almost flush mount cooktop, but it's got that nice metal cover on top of it. That's gonna be able to extend your counter space, give you a little bit more room for that coffee maker, toaster, things along those lines that you're gonna want up on that counter. Dual stainless steel basin sink with residential style faucet. And just below that, we've got some cabinets for storage as well as a couple of drawers. Good for trash cans, cutlery, all the kind of stuff that you're gonna want in your kitchen area. Continuing in the slide right there, you're gonna see that nice little jackknife sofa. I'm gonna give you an additional sleeping space if you ever need that. After all, this is a couple's coach, so you know, sometimes you got that buddy that wants to come or the grandkids. This is one of the two perfect spaces to put them. The other would be the dinette. So let's go ahead and flip around and take a look at that. Flipping around to our campsite of this uh, camper right here, you're gonna see this nice four person dinette. Got a little bit of storage right there with that uh, cabinet door that's gonna give you access to that. Big campsite window that opens up, gonna allow that nice breeze to come on through. And then just above that, as soon as the camera adjusts, there you go. You're gonna see those nice additional storage cabinets. Let's focus. Focus, Daniel son. Uh, we got those nice uh, additional above storage cabinets right there, and they even have a little spot to mount a TV, a little custom shelf put in there for, uh, for just that such thing. Coming on down a little bit more, going towards the door on the top there, you're going to see our entertainment system, AM, FM, DVD, CD player, and then just below that is our nice Norcold two-way refrigerator. This is uh, your standard RV electric and propane refrigerator then going just past our entry door you're going to see our rear bath the first thing you're going to see is that nice toilet giving you plenty of leg room for those taller people you're going to be able to sit there without banging your knees on the door very important thing i always recommend to people go ahead take a seat on that toilet make sure you fit because there's nothing worse than buying a camper getting home and then realizing oh guess what i don't fit on the toilet um, we're gonna have a mirror on the wall right there above the sink. Some additional wardrobe storage over here on this wall with a couple of drawers down below that. Single basin sink, lots of counter space for all those bathroom necessities. Below that is gonna be some additional under, bath, uh, under sink storage. Good for your black tank flush-ins, your black tank drop-ins. Uh, additional toilet paper things that you like that that you're gonna need in the bathroom but not all the time. Flipping around over to this side, you're gonna see this nice big corner shower with the glass surround. Again, I'm always a fan of the glass surrounds. They keep all that shower water inside the shower and not all over the floor of the camper. Just above that's gonna be our skylight. For our taller folks, you're gonna be able to pop your head up in there if you're, uh, if you're gonna need that because you're a little bit on the taller side. And then we've got this nice little vent with fan inside of it in back here that uh, that's going to help keep this uh, the moisture down in here, keep it smelling fresh, and all of that stuff that's, uh, you know, necessary in a bathroom. All right, now I'm coming out of the bathroom and I'm going to head forward into the master bedroom area up there. There is a little soft spot underneath this red carpet that I'm standing on right now. It doesn't seem to be a big issue. It's, you know, just a little bit of a soft spot but uh, nothing that I can see that would be a, a major concern um, that's gonna you know, stop you from being able to use this or cause you any problems down the road. We're gonna have that big window that's gonna open up on that side, that emergency exit window. Those, uh, those allow a lot of air in, um, especially on rainy days, you pop those open, the rain just sheds right off of them. A wardrobe on that side, just below the wardrobe, we're gonna have a side table with a drawer, nice little headboard, some cabinets up above for additional storage, wardrobe on the other side another little side table with a drawer and you see that knob just kind of sticking out of the carpet right there 
that is a laundry chute. You pick that up, you can put a laundry basket in the pass-through outside and uh, just dump your dirty clothes right in there, get them up out of the way. And you'll see just below that we've got power, so this is very CPAP friendly. On the cam side, we're gonna have another sliding opening window. Again, great for that cross breeze that we're gonna want. And in the corner right here, you're gonna see that flat screen TV along with a little uh, shelf right there that might be good for your satellite system or something like that. Uh, perfect to go up on that shelf. Or maybe you want the alarm clock up there so you can see what time it is anytime you wake up in the middle of the night. And then finally right here, let me back up and flip around right here. You're gonna see these owners also kept the manuals. So we're gonna have all your owner's manuals and things like that to go along with this. Um, that's always nice to see. It kind of lets you know that the, the previous person took care of it and felt uh, strongly enough to maintain all of that in case they had any issues or anything along those lines. Again, nice little front bedroom unit here. Um, let's jump on the outside and see what we've got out there because there's a nice surprise out on the back of this. Out here on this Freedom Spirit Ultralight by Thor, you're gonna see that nice big awning that's gonna extend the full length of here. I don't think you can go much bigger than that. Uh, looks like it's in good shape. We're gonna have a power tongue jack on the front. I believe um, it's not working right now. We might be able to have a, a tech take a look at it and see if we can't get it for, working for you. We may not, it just depends on what the price point of this is going to be. If that's something you do want fixed, um, and we don't have the opportunity to get it done before you purchase this, that is absolutely something we can have a tech look into and uh, try to get fixed for you. Or worst case scenario, if we had to replace it, it wouldn't really be that expensive uh, to replace that. So right behind that tongue jack, you're gonna see a dual 20 pound propane tanks, marine deep cycle battery just behind that. We've got a little pass through storage here on the front. There's where you're gonna see that nice little slide that's gonna have our couch in it giving us just a little additional space in that living area. Tandem axle is gonna help tow, tow real nice. Um, you're gonna see, uh, coming back here, I'm gonna move in again. I always like to show where you have to dump the camper from. I'm the lucky guy who always gets that business end of the deal. So uh, as the person who always has to do it, I like to show people, look at all that clearance, plenty of ground clearance. We shouldn't have any issues with that easy access. Uh, no problem dumping this when you need to get those tanks empty at the end of the weekend. And here's that surprise that I promised you. Look at this nice aluminum rear mount bike rack. That is going to be staying with this. Uh, I can't imagine how much that option cost because that is a really nice Thule system. Uh, I mean, that's that's gotta be a couple grand sitting right there. Just above that, you're gonna see that Max Air vent style cover. That's gonna allow you to keep that bathroom vent open in the rain while you're going down the highway. That's just gonna help the whole camper breathe a lot by allowing fresh air in and out at any point, whether you're using it or not. So cruising along the side, you can see it's a little tight right in here. I'm gonna have to squeeze, but I'm gonna give you just a nice little pass through the big grab handle right there. Just a nice little pass along the side so you can kind of see the overall general condition of this. It's a, it's a clean camper in good shape, especially for his age. Like I said, the only thing that I can see is there's a little bit of a uh, soft spot just before you go into that bathroom. Doesn't appear to be an issue. I, you know, I don't think it's gonna get any worse. Um, I wouldn't really be too concerned about it. So if you're interested in this unit or any of the other hundreds of new and used campers that we have here at Haylet Auto and RV in Coldwater, Michigan, give our sales staff a call. Let them help you out. We literally have acres and acres of fifth wheel, travel trailers, couples campers, bunk houses, A-frames, pop-ups, whatever it is you need, you want, we're gonna have it. So give us a call, Haylet Auto and RV, Coldwater, Michigan, put our sales staff to work for you and let us get you out there started on your adventure today.